Hi, I'm Contessa. Welcome back to my corner. This is a place where you get to come and see all my fun little crystals because ah, this is kind of the fun access to our spiritual realm, the ascended masters, and of course the angels. I love using crystals to raise people's vibrations in my own so that I can help channel the different energies. So we're going to, of course, sage first, make sure that we're saging our stones first. And then today, I'm going to go over fluoride for the week. This stone is actually really, really, really magnificent, and it holds the rainbow inside it. Here's in tower form. Check these guys out. They're pretty, pretty epic. This is like a psychic vacuum. This is going to fix confusion and negativity, and it's going to help with your astral travel kind of mix up. This is going to clear your mind, and of course, it's going to activate these upper three chakras, and then it's going to bump down to down here in your solar plex chakra. You know, when our tummy and our gut kind of gets our little instinct going, and sometimes it gets going in a different direction, or it's blocked from stuff from our past lives. Um, we really want to clear these energies so that we can really focus and stay in the, the now. This stone is really good about helping us with clarity in our important choices. Hold on, I have another one. Here we go. Here we go. This one's really fun because I actually have a little guy in here. Let's see if you can see him, if you can find him. Do you see? Right here we go. He should be right about in this little area here, I think. I hope I can, if I can see that correct. I hope you can see that. Oh, here we go. When we pan out, you can see him right here. See the little guy? Tell me that's not somebody who just got formed inside there. I love these fluorides. Tumbled is going to look a little bit clear, but just a little slight rainbow to it. It's going to feel a little bit heavier than a quartz crystal, and you can definitely put a tumble like this of the fluorite in your water to be able to drink it. I have one more special surprise with the fluorite. <sighs> I ended up going down to Sedona and enjoying all the energies there and fell in love with a Credite. And what was the special treat was, is not only was it the Credite, but it actually had a fluorite. Can you see that growing inside of it as well? I'm so excited to share this with you for the week. And I hope you just really enjoy and take this energy of this Credite in. This is going to help your ability on multi-levels of consciousness. This is changing spiritual evolution. Isn't that crazy? Some of the pieces were even falling off. That's so crazy intense. I hope all that negativity, anything that was frustrating or not getting you where you needed to go, I hope that's all sloughed off. Look at that. This is such a gorgeous, this is like a master key and it kind of looks a little, look, I've got a dirty little mind. It looks a little dirty, doesn't it? Look at that. Da, 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 da. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, so this Credite is going to be a real high, high vibrating stone. And this is going to go ahead and clarify um, a lot of your mind and the different chakras so that you can channel in these messages. This is also going to help you understanding the wisdom of your Akashic records. So um, little fun past lives are going to start coming in and letting you guys be aware of what's going on so that you can release those energies and just relax. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful week with the rainbow in your pocket and that you enjoyed the fluorite crystal. There's something about opening up your chakras, letting them all go ahead and um, just be at their fullest and enjoy the now and let those blocks go. Allow the past lives memories to come in, enjoy them and let them pass. See how strong you've been and the different fun stuff you've been going through. I'll see you next week with the new stone. Have a good one. Ah!